skin flaps. <laughs> Everything. Welcome back, everyone, to Curse of Vistani, episode 66. Potentially the finale? Maybe one more after this. So, finale part one. Uh, when last we left off, the That's on. turned a hydra into a crab. Yes! So they just turned a hydra into a crab and made friends with it. Yes! And, yep. They looted... Some things out of his cave, and we then they left. With the crib. And we ended the session with you finally locating the Vistani camp, as you sent Sun in bat form to recon the fence and fire lights that you <laughs> had seen. And that is where we pick up, as Sun uh, spots some people in Vistani garb walking around. Now we just have to wait for Batson to get back. Yeah. Batson. Na 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 Batson. <laughs> uh, she would probably do a fly over carefully using the uh the Batson in the sky and everything okay. else so that she can try and get a look at like how big the camp is, how many people there are. See if she notices certain uh, certain persons lurking around, trying to fit in. Okay. Um. So. Weird thing is, they wouldn't be here. Who, Who wouldn't be here? Be here? That, that's me, Fire, saying that they probably wouldn't be here because aren't they after these people? Alanka. Yeah. Alanka and Charles? Um, exactly. Yeah. Okay. I just so, make sure I remembered right. As she's doing her flyover, um, let's see. I think she would probably be keeping an eye out for Alanka, though. She's probably. Yeah, that's why I said looking to see if there's any specific uh, she people She probably that we're trying to fit in. About. 30 different tents uh, with various campfires strewn throughout. Uh, it's still marshland here, so um, some spots are uh, nice solid ground where the tents are, but then there's plenty of water uh, strewn in between them. Okay. Um, so about 30 tents. It is not time. Yeah. Uh, uh, it does not spot Alenka or Charles. It's a good uh, thing. Potentially. There are various um, Vistanis walking around. Some sitting around campfires. Uh, some eating. Just enjoying okay. their evening. So then she would come back and inform everybody of the recon that she saw 30 tense ish or so. She didn't see anything super out of the ordinary, but it does definitely appear to be a Vistani settlement. A Vistani band. Tribe? No, no. Caravan! That's the word. Hmm? Yes. Caravan. <laughs> so it's been really long time since we did anything with Alenka and Charles. Uh-huh. Um, do we remember what they were attempting to do? Yes. Alenka was very upset with these people and wanted to kill them all. To-do list. Erase slash kill adventurers yeah. and sell their things. Procure a big spell catalyst. Decide which one is most effective. Obtain final ingredients. Locate the Vistani camp. Summon, summon lots of monsters. Awaken our salvation. Exterminate the Vistani. Yeah. There you go. That's what I was trying to remember so that we could pass that along <laughs> yeah. to the Vistani. Yeah, that should be... It's under our... Hands out. Yep. In our notes. Yeah, I was looking through my, my physical notes and I'm like, I wrote some of this down. 
Yeah, there there is an actual handout on uh, roll twenty. That the to do list. Have. I hate that it puts it in another pop out. It means it's hard for me to show the chat. <laughs> so there is a to do list for without adding another brown my horse. stream. See if I can add a source for it real quick. Oh, interesting. For me, it's actually part of the web page. Me, hey, I wish it was. It'd be easier. Huh. Part of the web page? What do you mean? I can't take it off the web page, but I can actually pop it out as its own. It by browser default page. popped it out for me. Oh. Uh. Yeah, for me too. Option to not have it pop out. Hmm. Yeah, for for me it pops up in a little window, and then I can click it to pop it out. Yeah. Now I'm just trying to add a source real quick. Here's the to-do list for my chat. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, did you click on it to fire to see if that helped? No, I just did a window source. That, that's pretty much what I did. Yep, and I just have to have the top of the screen easily right now because I don't feel like cropping this at the moment. <laughs> but there, they can at least see it now. There's Yay. the list. It's there. I'm confused by Ogi, but okay. Adorable is a reason to be eaten. Yes. What? Buff, they eat a bunny, so that's where that came from, apparently. Buff, you're not eating Kalina. <laughs> that right. really what are you did. Guys doing? Um, helped Firedale to putting it in the in the stream chat. I I was trying to fight with the pop out, so I didn't see it. Uh, one other thing you guys have pieced together uh, through your encounters with uh, Charles's monsters is that they all had seem to have one thing in common. They're all monstrosities. Mm hmm. Uh, they all had some way to cause fear. Okay, so that's the other thing. Noted. I was gonna say, then they have two things in common. Because <laughs> they were definitely all monstrosities, because all of them could have, in theory, been defeated with banishment had we had banishment early. <laughs> Literally every single one. <sighs> None of them were native to this plane. Nope. <clears throat> Didn't I help banish one? You did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good to know. So you guys are just outside the town or the settlement. Yes. back that Charles and Alenka were not there and that there were other people there? Yes. We don't fully know if they're there. She just didn't see them. Um, Correct. did Son notice a particular distribution? Like, was it a mix of adults and children, families? Did it look like the yes. normal roving band? Yes. Okay. Uh, it, it was a good mix. Uh, Alrighty. I'll, I'll say... Uh, what was her perception last time? Uh, 25? So, yeah. Um, so, I'd say, uh, she even noticed a, uh, Yuan T among them. Oh, what? 
a snake person. Yes. Okay. They look kind of like a naga, but not fully. Okay. Okay. They, I can they picture. They actually have like snake face. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think Safi said that she would, if we were going to approach, start by playing a song. Yep. As we were. Play a traveling song to kind of announce ourselves. Okay. And I guess start approaching? <laughs> Yup. With coffin. Uh, roll me a performance check. There you go. <laughs> you knew it was coming. 19. Always. Okay. Yeah, even if I roll poorly, I have plus 13, so it's always <laughs> well, yeah, good. You rolled a 6 there. Holy crap. <laughs> it's always good. <laughs> it's always above average. Uh, she's good. she's not our bard for nothing. <laughs> yep. 13. That's crazy. Hey, I maxed out charisma. There's a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I think next right. campaign we're both going to be the charismas. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to focus charisma as hard. Mine is the charisma. So is mine. <laughs> um. But anyways, back to this campaign. Yes. All right. So you guys start approaching, uh, playing a nice melody <laughs> along the way, maybe doing a little bit of singing. Um. And uh, as you're starting to enter the town, pass some tents. Uh. One of them takes note of you, a man uh, who is sitting in front of a tent with uh, two children. Uh, and. One second. I'm assuming and we're going to be asking for the leader. Uh, and you. You hear him say, customers, children, come. And uh, he, he kind of straightens up his outfit a bit and walks over to you and says, Hello, customers. How can I help you tonight? With a big grin on his face. Looks at Safi. What kind of Curious service are you looking for? About the rowing band, what kind of uh, wares do you offer? Uh, we don't offer wares so much as services, uh, namely curse removal. I think we've got you covered on that one with me. <laughs> um, different kind of curse. I don't believe we're cursed at the moment. Looks at the group kind of skeptically. <laughs> he kind of raises one eyebrow. We, there was the matter of a curse previously from, uh, well, I hesitate to say associate. They don't seem very amiable. Um, he, he looks slightly confused. Oh, we had a rather nasty run in with a lady named Alenka and her companion uh, Charles. As soon as you say Alenka, the grin on his face just, just disappears. disappears. Yep. <laughs> he turns to his children. Khalil, Liza, go back to the tent. Uh, he he waits for a minute as, uh, uh, but Daddy, no arguing. Go. They the two kids run off back to the tent and go inside it. And he looks back to you. What is this about Alenka? That's actually kind of why we're here. The run in all the way back in Rockford, yes. Yeah, Rockford. Where they were running an operation to uh, lure in adventurers and kill them, murder them, and feed them to Charles's beast and sell all of their equipment. And we found this to do list. I will, and I will hold that out. <laughs> uh, he takes a quick glance at it. I'm a little concerned uh, about one of the objects on there for obvious reasons. I think you need to talk to Charlotte. 
That would be great. Can you please point us in their direction? We totally haven't been tracking you guys down because of this. We, we've been trying to get in touch. We figured you needed a warning at the very least. Yep! <laughs> I'm just, like, sounding really anxious. <laughs> uh, he starts leading you to, like, the center of this grove of tents. Um, to a slightly more prominent tent. Uh, and uh, as he's leading you that way, uh, he says, Charlotte is our elder. Uh, she will have the information you need in this regard. For anything involving Alenka. Um, walks up to the tent. Charlotte? You in there? Back. Yes. You may enter. Uh, he <laughs> opens the curtain and ushers you all in. We'll walk in confidently with the to-do list in my hand. And kind of just sweep a quick bow. I will. He also bows to Charlotte. I'll bow very nervously. I will, I'll give a polite bow. <laughs> I'll bow my head. Right, Callan also bows. Uh, I'm assuming Robin, we would. Or, uh, Moro and Luna both uh, kind of bow a little in recognition. Uh. I see you bring guests. Who might these people be? These, uh, customers had a run-in with Alenka. Uh, her smile instantly fades as well. Um, Alenka. I guess she really is notorious. Uh, he, he presents her the list that you gave yep. him. I'll let him present that. Mm -hmm. uh, I was gonna say, I probably would have taken it back, but that's fine. Well, he, he would... Uh, yeah, he, he would request you to give it to him so he could give it to her. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Can I pipe in and say, I found this when we had the run-in with her. Oh, I'm sorry. We're all being terribly rude. Um, introductions. Hello, I'm Saplin. <laughs> My name is Lilia. Uh, Aurora. San would say San. Kirio would flash his tail and then say I'm Kirio. <laughs> and this is my fluffy tail. Yes. Alan. I, I don't have a fluffy tail. And these I'll are Moro and Luna. <laughs> yes. Kirio would still pat Kellen on the head. Uh, she, She's like looking... Up at you, but down at the paper at the same time. Yep. She's very just like uh, concerned and like, what do I focus on right now? <laughs> uh, I am Charlotte. Uh, I am Alenka's grandmother. Oh, well, terribly uh, sorry to be the bearer of such unfortunate here. news. Then. Kira will pick his mouth up off the floor in like two minutes. Just give him time. Uh, uh, Hezek, you may go. Uh, the the man you had t been talking to before. Uh, Thank you for bringing us here, yes, sir. And I'll wave I'll at him. him on the head as he goes. He, he nods <laughs> and exits the tent. Tell me more. Oh. Look. Initially. We were just one of many adventurers that she was attempting to lure into her <laughs> trap, according to phase one on that lovely list in your hand. Um, I see. But apparently, the way the reason she was getting away with that is she has been laying a curse on all of the adventurers that approached that basically erased them from the memories. Of everyone of around them. Those, yeah, of those who knew them. My companions were actually cursed as well with that. Um, 
we had another run in with her a little bit later. I'm, I'm sorry, you all were afflicted by this curse? Yes. Except for me. She uh, cursed me in a different way. She, I don't she know. looks a little panicked for a second. Well, it, it's, uh, I, I don't believe the curse is still there. She broke oh, it no. herself. That one, at least. People, people have been like, able to recall us since then. Yes. Yes. Um, How did start to do that? Unfortunately, well, we had to sacrifice a large spell catalyst. She was trapping another person uh, and his family and his estate into a time loop until they handed over a catalyst. Time loop. Mm-hmm. Yep. She she has been going through a lot of. Uh, a lot of trouble. Large scale she, she, lo she looks slightly overwhelmed at the moment. <laughs> a little bad. We know the feeling. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Um. Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and um, Saplin will just kind of continue on, just barreling forward, just just like a bandaid, rip it off. Um, yep. Be like, and basically, she was after this large sapphire, which I'm assuming was item number two. Um, and we got permission from. The, the family, of the estate, as they were being essentially blackmailed into handing it over, to doing the handover ourselves, and in the process, we convinced Alenka that we were doing a double cross on the mansion of uh, mansion's owner, and she removed the curse at that point. Taffy almost died. I yes, it didn't stick. No, you, you did no. a very good job at not making it stick. Right. I'm still a little bit scared on that one. Kind of pats, pats Lilia on the head. <laughs> um, so she lured adventures, um, erased them from people's memories, killed mm -hmm. them, except for us. The mimics. Yep, there was mimics in the I base. They were running mimics. a fake. They were running a fake magic shop. Mm -hmm. It was all an illusion. Then yeah. she trapped some people in a time loop, and you were there too? Yeah, we were. We, we were able to pass in, but we weren't able to pass out. Yeah, yeah. It was a quest that we were doing from the guild hall, and we kind of got trapped up in it again. I guess it's kind of lucky that we did, because so, the curse is broken for us now, but... Yeah. And then she got... A large sapphire. Which we're resuming the spell catalyst. removed your curses because you gave her the sapphire. Unfortunately. We had permission to do. Still unfortunate. And, um, um... We wouldn't have done it had there been any other way, but we had gone through... Goodness, half a dozen loops at this point? Mm -hmm. And the people that we were trapped with had been through even more? Yep. Oh my. Yeah. The head of the house was going a little bit crazy. I would imagine. That sounds utterly dreadful. Mm hmm. It was. It wasn't good. And also, Charles seems to be. Um, yeah, I was going to ask about that. Hold making on. Hold a. That okay. Hold that thought. Mm -hmm. Um. We've mentioned Charles three times by now. Has she had any kind of recognition to that name? Yes. Okay. Okay. So continue. To recognize the name. And uh, Charles seems to be dabbling in some rather fearsome monstrosities. A lot of extra planar uh, entities we've noticed. I've had to. Uh... What's the word that I'm looking for? Banish. <laughs> yes, I've I've had to help one and banish one back to his home plane. Apparently, Charles pulled him here against his will. He's he pulled all of them here against their will. To be completely fair, that's typically how summoning works. True, but I still feel bad for Mister Boatman. Yeah, he was nice. He was. But they all seem to have a common thread well, where they are, they they incite fear. And and Saplin will reach out and, and touch Lilia's shoulder because Lilia's kind of rambling and <laughs> you I, could tell I'm like, nervous. Lilia's gonna keep babbling because of the nervousness. <laughs> I'm getting that feeling right now. That's the vibe I'm getting off of Lilia. Babble, 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 word vomit. Yeah. There's and, yeah. a 
another item on this list here. The last one. Right, that you was why we were... That. That's why we were hoping to seek you out. We don't know how they intend to do this. But we figured you deserved a uh, warning. Yeah, we followed you guys from Rockfort to Donnelly and then Donnelly to here. We've been trying to find you. Yeah, we've been on the trail of your group for a while now. Well, we've been here for about two weeks. We've been trying to move no, through a rather substantial enough, flood. See, it took you a week to get here, and you took two weeks to get to the other place, so about five weeks. Yeah. At this point? Yeah. yeah. Everyone we told you, uh, asked about you, told us you'd been somewhere else, so we've just been on the trail. Yep. I see. Well... Well done tracking us down. I do have a question for you also, though. You mentioned the last item on the list. Understandably, that would be your major concern. Mm -hmm. Understandably. Have you any idea what they might mean by our salvation? Um, I can't say that I do. That is a bit concerning, though. I bet it's extra concerning that you find out Alanka is trying to exterminate you as well. I mean... <laughs> and it seems to be on their list before your extermination, which leads me to believe that it's a vital part of it. That's a fair assumption. So perhaps I, if we knew what they I'm were attempting to awaken... Is, yeah. Uh upset with us. What happened there? It seems uh, like there's some bad blood between you. Well, that's a longer story. Uh, perhaps it would be easier to show you. Would fail you like my insight check. See that? Perhaps. Oh, insight? As I fail yep. my insight check, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you get no reading with that. Yep. Uh, she reaches into her bag, well, like a, a bag that's been set aside, and pulls out a mirror. Uh, if you look into this and think about Olenka, it will show you some of her past. That like, seems handy. It can be, yes. It is quite aptly called a mirror of the past. I'm going to take a glance over to Callan. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to gauge if Callan has any recognition to this item whatsoever. Uh, Callan looks distracted. <laughs> Fortunate. Uh, he he does not seem to recognize it at all. Okay, he, I'm. A he's kind wary... of just like looking around the tent right now. Yeah, I'm a little wary of accepting items without having identified them first. Um, but that's okay. It's fine. Um, From everything we've heard, though, the Vistani are not really one for curses. Alenka right, was. Curse breaking. But... Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and we'll attempt to use the mirror. Okay. So, you accept the mirror. The It's like a platinum hand mirror. Um, and uh, initially when you look into it, it seems like a, nor a normal mirror. Um, but as soon as you start thinking about Alenka, the your reflection starts to warp and it it feels like your your mind is getting sucked into it not like in a bad way uh kind of like pensive way yeah uh 
It, it feels like this is part of the function of the mirror. Entering a mind palace? Yeah, pretty much. Exactly. Uh, no, only you, only the person looking into this mirror uh, will see any of the things, any of this stuff. So, you enter this mind palace, uh, and the first thing you see is a young girl, maybe about seven years old. Uh, it seems like a very young Alenka. She is... Quick question. Mm -hmm. Do I still have the presence of mind to cast cantrips while this is happening? Um, you would. Can you don't know I... if they would work, but... Can I attempt to minor illusion in my hand? Like, flickering still images of what I'm seeing? As I'm seeing it, even if they're not Fully. She's wanting to be it to make a visual copy like a TV so we can see what right, she's saying. Right. Except more of like a flip book rather than or a stop motion rather than a full running video, correct? This is minor illusion? Yeah. Um let me take a look at minor illusion real quick, if I could spell it correctly. I just put it in virtual tabletop. Yep. Thank you. Uh be doing a small illusion in my hand like I've been doing this entire time. Uh, I don't know if you can change the image. Oh, you can keep casting it, I guess, since it is a but, Yes, was my intent, was to just okay. continually cast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Okay. Yeah, if you're just continually casting minor That's illusions. why it would have to be like a stop motion or a flip book because yeah. I'd have to recast. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right, so continue. All right. So, uh young girl, about 7 years old. Um and she seems to be studying a book of curses. It's a frame every six seconds. It's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, the next you see uh, her grandmother walk in, Charlotte. Seems quite a bit younger at this point. Uh, the, there is no sound to these, by the way. It's just image. Uh, but she seems to be uh, saying some kind of encouraging words to Alenka and like Gives her a pat on the head. Uh, look, looks like she's saying something like, keep up the good work type of thing. Uh, next, the the visual starts to shift. And you see Alenka yet again, a little older this time, probably around 11 years old. And Charlotte. Uh, and there is a Leonin sitting in front of them. Do we recognize Leonin? Uh, you do not. Okay. Um, uh, the Leonin's kind of like kneeling down in front of them, and Alenka uh, kind of gives, or, sorry, Charlotte gives Alenka a pat on the back, and Alenka steps up and reaches out a hand, touches his head, and then you see her pull like some kind of dark energy out of him. And so curse removal. And then the Leonin, uh, like, you can just see he, he was a bit tense before, but then he just, like, relaxes and seems pleased. The image starts to shift again. Uh, this time Alenka is about 17. Uh, she is standing over top of a table. Uh, on top of the table is a young man bound and gagged. Okay, shift. You watch Alenka hold some kind of dark energy in her hand and then shove it into the man. Amazing. 
Okay. Uh, you you see the man start to react negatively, and then Alenka picks up a notebook and starts writing in it. Uh, the young man looks absolutely terrified, but you get a look at Alenka's face, and you just see a smile on her face. Absolutely excited. Fantastic. Her experimentation. Yep. The scene shifts once more. Um, Only slightly older than the last one. Probably around 19. Uh, Very similar scene to before. Standing in front of the table. This time it's a young woman tied to the table. Uh, Clearly in pain. Uh, And then she gets interrupted by another Vistani man bursting in. Uh, He has a horrified look on his face. Uh, They start to struggle as he tries to free the woman on the table. And you watch as Alenka kills him. The image shifts again. Uh, This time Alenka is standing in front of the village uh, with Charlotte. Uh, Villagers all around. Uh, Her and Charlotte are arguing back and forth. Charlotte starts to tear a bit. Tears streaming down her eyes. And she turns around, facing her back to Alenka. And one by one, the other villagers follow suit. Alenka excommunicating, yelling, trying to yeah, get her attention, and then she turns and starts leaving. And out of the crowd of people, uh, a Vistani man runs out from the crowd. Uh, you recognize it as Charles, and chases after her, and they leave together. Oh, so Charles was Vistani as well. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, was that was annoying. Um the, the image uh, if, yes. I was I was gonna say um we didn't really have any context between her removing the curses and her putting in the curses, right? Or the gap uh, there. Of a couple years. Yeah, there was a Okay. Yeah, the the curse removal was at about age 11, uh, and she was about 17 when you watched her putting it in. Okay. Because the Leonin was the one for removal, right? Yes. And then all of a sudden she turned, and instead of helping break curses, she's like, I want to inflict them. I'm wondering if it started as... I need to recognize the signs of these curses to know what I'm removing. Kind of a scientific study inflict the injury in order to figure out how to remove the injury. Kind I'm, of thing or how to recognize it. I'm wondering and, if we should ask her grandma what happened between Well, I mean, we need removal. to ask about the argument, clearly, but we're not mm-hmm. there yet. He, Meteor's not done explaining. Right. Uh, Melody Charlotte is the village elder and Alenka's grandmother. Which I did answer in chat. Yeah, I saw that. So I wanted to say it out loud just one more time. Continue on, Meteor. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, so the image starts shifting once again. Uh, and you see Alenka and Charles. Uh, not too dissimilar from how you've seen them, though. Uh, uh, and they are standing over some kind of plan. Um, roll me a perception check, please. I'm doubting we'll see it, but Safi might understand it. I can attempt to okay. uh, project the plan, but it depends on how well I see it. <laughs> uh, all you can make out on the plan, uh, you see a large gem. Uh, you see the word fear underlined. Uh, and next to that plan, you see a book of monsters open uh, to a page with a specific monster circled. Um, 
Roll me a history check, please. To see if you recognize this monster. History, not not anything else. Yep, the history check. Okay. That's yep. not what I thought. Yeah, I don't have advantage in history. Could we... That's why I use nature to discern everything. I, <laughs> Question. I will say, because you are projecting this... Can we try? Everyone else Everybody else gets to try. try as well. Yeah, okay. Only because you're projecting it. Yeah, that was my hope. Is I, I really I'm not hope. noticing it. <laughs> like, as long as I can commit it to memory, even if I have no clue what it is, maybe somebody else will. Everybody else roll history. Aurora! Yeah. <laughs> Aurora, <that's laughs> funny. Thank you. Aurora knows what it is. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> We're good now. <laughs> All right. So what is this monster? <laughs> so Aurora, you recognize this monster as a beholder. Oh, dear. oh, lovely. Okay. Okay. Who wants to fill me in? These these creatures. No, this, this, uh, not. Shortly after you see the book with the beholder, uh, the images fade, and you are pulled back to yourself outside of the mirror. Okay, uh, we got a picture of the plan. I couldn't see it too well, I'm sorry. Um, but I, I think we know what the monster stuff is. I, I would ask the grandma first if she seen any of what she's seen. They had a monster clearly circled. I don't know what it was, but... I'm... Trouble. Right. Deep. Her, her, for her all face, yeah. her, her face uh, seems to recognize the creature as well, and her face turns a bit pale. Um, I'll look I at her. Please explain. We found their salvation. What is this yes. thing? A, mm -hmm. a beholder is an aberration. Yes, it is. You're evil. That tracks. That's mostly You're what Charles bad. has been summoning. It is the thing people. that some have lived to see that I know of from my tribe, but most do not. Most do not come back from this. It is a fearsome creature. Idiot. It's the kind of thing that. Yes. I was going to ask if there was a way that any of us could reattempt the history check now, having heard yes. the name or no. Uh, I'll allow that. I'm. I'm. I might be getting up, some of it. Using up a little bit. <laughs> you, I thought of it. you do recognize the name Beholder now. Having heard the name. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't recognize it from the picture itself, but. Uh, I've never seen a picture of one, but I've heard of it. Alright, so continue explaining that, Aurora, now that there's some recognition dawning somewhere. <laughs> These are the things that my tribe has come across every once, every once in a while in its lore. It never ends well it, for anyone it probably, involved. It would probably be every few hundred years. Yes. Very, very rarely, but my people tell stories of these, these beholder creatures, as they call, they call them by a different name, but they're still nonetheless terrifying monsters from which the few who escape are forever changed for the worse. They seize up, they stop speaking, they communicate Rarely, it is not pleasant. Um, so this is a large, uh, floating ball of death, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Eye cyclops, uh, basically. Yeah, yeah. Eye cyclops. It's got a bunch of tentacles with eyes on them, also. Uh, yeah. With... Above board, I know what a beholder is. Yeah. <laughs> with with Aurora's not funny. Uh, one does not. <laughs> yeah. With Aurora's nat 20, uh, he would know that each of its 
uh, eye stalks, shoots a different kind of, like, ray out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, each is devastating as the last. Oh, yeah. My, my people refer to it, I guess the way we would explain it to you is the uh, decider of fate. In that these tentacles that it has, each one is different, but nonetheless devastating. All lethal, if unfortunate. Meteor, is there where <laughs> you could put an image of it in the chat. We can pull up the monster stat block and display in virtual tabletop. Yeah. Thank you. I got this. I was trying to do that Two and I holders. couldn't. Even worse than one. <laughs> Even more fearsome. Even worse. Yeah. What do I know? <laughs> so. Uh, Charlotte uh, says uh, there is legend of a beholder in this region that has been lying dormant for quite some time. Seems like Alenka intends to awaken it. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Out of character. Side note. We're, we're we're not lucky enough that it's large Luigi that they're trying to get hold of. <laughs> do you know? Do yeah, you know? he's a uh, he's a slightly more friendly beholder. It's uh, um gonna be you you you'd run into him if you're doing like spell or stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. Do we know where this beholder is, is legend to be? Because my brain is going to the arches for the Underdark, and that's an out-of-character. Um, we do not... The, no one knows for sure where it's set to rest. Somewhere in the mountains is all that anyone really knows. Um... It, it would likely not be in the Underdark, no. I'll say that much. I'll have to contend with a Hydra if it attempts to leave. <laughs> yep. We'll get at least some warning due to that. I would put my money on the Beholder. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. know, but it would at least be enough of a fight that people would notice. Because mm -hmm. I was reading that they are from the Underdark, correct? Um... The the beholders aren't really from anywhere, I believe. Because I see, because I'm re reading Forgotten Re Forgotten Realms there, wiki. Oh, Forgotten Realms is not strictly how they were integrated in D and D. Yeah. Okay, that is different. Yeah, I I don't. Um, uh, beholders kind of just uh blink into existence. Yeah, uh, they they are dreamed into existence by other beholders usually. Correct. So no one really knows where they came from. But uh if a beholder has a bad dream, then another beholder is created basically. Okay. Uh, that is frightening. Uh and Charlotte Great. says um beholders are usually quite sensitive to uh, great emotion such as joy love fear any large amount of these emotions can awaken one they were to for instance invoke fear in your entire encampment. Precisely. I see. So this might not then be the monster that they're looking to summon entirely. I mean, 
they were intending to locate this village first and then summon lots of monsters, likely here. To incite fear. To incite fear and then monopolize that fear to summon the beholder. Okay, this is frightening. Very. Uh, Talon's no longer distracted. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> he, he is very intensely focused. <laughs> Alright, DM. Yes. What time of day is it now? I'm um, assuming it's still night. Probably like 8 o'clock at night. I could use some sleep. I am wiped. But... Um, so I'll kind of look, uh, look the group over and be like, well, we, we've had quite a bit of, uh, fighting behind us and we could probably do with some rest. Uh, how far we away could. is Atsu High from here? I wonder if it would be best to go and uh, stay the night in Atsu High to make our way back in the morning. I don't think leaving's a good idea. minutes from here. Um, I think leaving is a good idea, and coming back. <laughs> you are welcome to stay here. We can set up a tent for you. Um, I don't know. We may need... I, we may want to do preparations Bye. in town. Uh, I, I've heard that you don't sell much in the way of physical wares here. I think Correct. we would need to go into Asuhai for that. Correct. <sighs> well, but before... She she just seems completely distraught at this point. Yeah, we're not just gonna up and leave you. Mm -hmm. But before you go, do any of you know a time frame for this, or do you know where she is right now? I I don't have scrying. Right this moment. Tomorrow morning I can scry if I choose it, but I don't have scrying right now. Like I said, we would need to make preparations. Do you not have locate object anymore? No. You don't have locate object anymore? Oh, I have locate object, but I don't know if I have an object. Well, yeah, let's ring. locate a ring. Yeah. Try ch test. Feet, right? Well, it would see if she's here within a thousand feet. It, there's a range, yeah. It's a thousand feet. It would tell if she's anywhere in the near vicinity. I can, um, I can see if she's within a thousand feet, but that's the most I can do right now. So a thousand feet, uh, I would say no, nothing, uh, nothing procs. Well, I she's can... not within a thousand feet at least. Or at least the range is not. Okay, well I would, um... I can attempt tomorrow. But what else would she have on her that I might have remembered from our first encounter? Let's see. Because I can try again on a different object. Or rather, did Charles have anything on him that we would have noticed? Did we meet Charles? Yes, we, we did. Met Charles once at the magic shop. I'm trying to think if he had anything of note on him. Uh, they had their clothes, and Olenka had the ring. Um, clothes are distinct enough. Olenka had a bag, which she pulled stuff out of. Yeah, let's attempt to locate the bag. Okay. I'll cast again. Okay. Um, you do not get a ping. Okay. Be like, yeah, my... With my limited uh, capabilities right now, all I can tell you is that she's not within a thousand feet. Okay. Like I said, I can attempt more tomorrow. A slight relief. Still not exactly reassuring. Can't, can't exactly do anything here at this exact moment. We need to prepare. Do any of your uh, your people have the ability to send messages across a distance? Uh, 
Uh, yes, of course. So do I. Um, so, should something happen while we are in Atsuhai, I will send you a message. And we will get there as quickly as possible. Okay. I'm starting to wonder if Meteor plans for us to leave and run into her, or... Mm. I told Meteor what I was planning to do in Atsuhai, but... I forget what you told him. Grabbing oh, the teleportation yeah, yeah. circle so yeah. that if we get flung to the distant universe, we can come back. Yep. <laughs> I remember that. that was literally my only purpose for stopping into town and then any last minute spell components. Alright then. We could stop into town and come back. That's also an option. I just know that it's getting late. Uh, whatever you prefer. If she's not within a thousand feet right now, then we should be fine for the moment. Do you have a contingency plan for if she does appear? Uh, no. <laughs> Okay! Good plan! <laughs> we are not exactly battle-hardened. We reach in to the bag of holding. Mm -hmm. And I will glance around at the group and see if anybody stops me as I pull out the deck of illusions. Okay. Um, and if nobody stops me, I'm going to start handing it over well, I mean, Charlotte. I don't know that we would know what you were going to reach in and pull out, so I don't think anyone well, would stop it's, you. Well, it's in my hand, and before I hand it over, I have it visibly in my hand. So I'm giving people an opportunity to talk me out of it, but my... Callum doesn't say anything. My yeah. intent is to give them something to buy them time to borrow until we come back. I'm for it. I have a problem with it. Okay. Except it. So I will hand I this over. It. Be like, uh, if you draw a card from this deck, it will cast an illusion um, deck of, of whatever deck. creature you draw. So hopefully it will buy you some time. It can, if you are attacked before it we return. Definitely help. It should at least uh, give them pause. You think she'd fall for it? There's a chance. It's more of a chance than they had without it. Out of character. Mm -hmm. Um, is Safi not going? Oh no, Safi hasn't mentioned to us about the the she has to kill Alenka. It's uh, only I Callan. To one person. Callan. Uh, Aurora. I, think. I I told Aurora. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no, I. Callan Callan knows that I was torn up about being petrified. Oh okay. Callan so doesn't know anything Aurora. about the Alenka deal. Just Aurora. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm assuming yeah, you the, wouldn't the be Paladin bringing that up. Evil Alignment Watch. <laughs> so I'm assuming you wouldn't bring that up in conversation still. I would not. Okay. Okay, well I guess off to Asuhai. Gear up and come back for Protection detail? Question mark? Yes. We're just going to do our preparations. Depending on how late it is once we've done those preparations, uh, we will likely lodge in town. But if there is time, we will come back. But I don't want you to wait up for us. We'll All right. do what we can. If nothing else, we will be here at first light in the morning. Sounds like a plan. Okay. She, she seems very emotionally exhausted at the moment. Think she, she is trying to put on a brave face. Yeah, the sooner we get out of her hair, the better, so she can break down in peace. Um, so, Saflin is going to... Give her a flower? Kind of, uh, no, actually. Oh! Um, don't Why? You it. don't want to locate her, if possible? 
don't need it. Why? I can locate the deck. True. Yeah. True. <laughs> That's more Got likely it. to stay on her person. Um. I'm so wondering if she's going to tell the rest of the band or not. <laughs> that is her decision as the elder. It's bad enough that we spilled the beans to Hesek. We could have handled that better. As, I could have handled that better. As elder and grandma. Yeah. Mm. But I will kind of start shuffling uh, everybody out of the tent. Okay. Um... So, Vistani are mainly good against curses. Do they also heal and stuff like that? Like, heal, heal like a cleric would? Um, not specifically, no. Okay, so it's more curses. Yeah. Okay. Their speci specialty is curses. Okay. Okay, this is... I am nervous. <laughs> going to cast your screen tomorrow i'll have to take it i don't have it currently mm. yeah, i'm going to have to readjust a lot i'm gonna have to adjust a lot of my spells because i currently have things pulled up for hydra hydra fight yeah that's why i wanted us to have a chance to long rest and refresh yep. but also i wanted us to have an opportunity with the, the money that we still have uh, since it seems like we're going to go into a sh final showdown soon and there might be a beholder, we, we might want additional preparations. Yeah. More spell components, more armor, more something. Do you think I can banish a beholder? <laughs> Probably, if you can get past the uh, Bane? saving throw. Heck yeah. <laughs> but I mean, since it's not native to another plane, it's just going to get moved. Oh, true. Crap! Yeah, yeah. Not quite that easy. Crap! My brain was going to the Forgotten Realms. They're from the Underdark. Crap! Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. I guess we leave and have a bunch of eyes watching us as we leave. Confused stares. And a very sad, probably sobbing grandmother. <laughs> okay. Um, so you get directed towards the village of Asahai and set off. It doesn't take very long, uh, about 30 minutes. Um, uh, seems Asuhai didn't want them like right next to them, but we're fine with them being a little ways away. Um, their doorstep, but they're not very far off the beaten path either. Right. Um, and so you enter the village of Asahai. Uh, it's less of a village that you're accustomed to with like well-paved roads and uh, sturdy buildings. These are a lot more huts than anything else. Okay. Um, and it is uh, pretty late at the moment, so there isn't really anyone out and about. Um, I'm betting you... shops it aren't open. Dark, so that shops would be open. That was what I was hoping to do to get out sooner, but it is what it is. Yeah, it, it was like 9 o'clock when you left the, the Vistana. So my guess is we would have to shop first thing in the morning. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's fairly late. Um, you do manage across a uh, tavern, though. Okay. Well, before anything else, I'm looking around to see, and it's possible there isn't one open this late at night, but it's also mm -hmm. possible that there is any okay. kind of temple structure. Okay. Or a guild hall that might house a teleportation circle. Guild hall first. Okay. Guild hall first. Because those are both less likely to stick to <clears throat> a 
shortened work day. Those are more likely to be twenty four seven establishments. Yeah. Guild hall, guild hall, guild hall. Either let's one. let's get that teleportation okay. circle. Well, okay. temples can also have them, which is why I said either. Ow. They um, can be in either. <laughs> you, you you do know that uh, from the last city they told you that the, the guild hall would have one. It. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you, you basically look for one of the biggest buildings around. Do you think um, we should tell right. the guild master that there's possibly going to be a beholder I would, summoned? I would put the, uh, I would gently put forth a suggestion that there may be a call for people to defend the Vistani camp in the near future. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. only perception to look for the guild hall. The guild hall. I can I help? Anybody else know what I'm looking for too? Sure. Can I roll? Uh, either you can roll or Safi can do advantage. What's your What's your bottom? I'm card? plus eight. Yeah, you roll. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Still not great, but. Uh, so More than it, take, it takes you a little while, but you do end up finding the guild hall. Probably takes you another thirty minutes. Um. Because it wasn't as big as you were expecting it to be, but it's still pretty big. Um, and you go up to it, and it is open. I'll just be hopping near Safi. In, 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 in. <laughs> you, you walk in, and there is, like, a single desk. Uh, and no one is currently sitting at it, but there's, like, a bell on the desk. We'll just kind of turn to Lilia, knowing that Lilia is a bundle of nervous energy. <laughs> Hi! And be like, I need to see them about memorizing the circle, which may take a bit. Would you go and get us rooms? Okay. Give us a place to sleep. Um, I think, th though, we do need to speak to the guildmaster. Well, yes, we're going to do that, too. But once we split off, because it's going to take me a little bit to memorize the circle. It's not instant. Do you want to leave me money to pay for rooms? Sure. Do that. We'll we'll do that in a minute. Okay. But yeah, we will look around. Um, <clears throat> how busy is the guild hall at this hour? You, you don't see anyone right now. There, there. The entrance area is fairly small. There's a single desk with a, like, kind of a bell on it, like a ding 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 bell. I will ding the bell. All right. Moment passes, another moment, another moment. Uh, finally, you you hear some movement, uh, which seems to be getting closer. Um, and shortly, a uh, Yuan T uh, slithers Stick out person. up to the desk. May I help you? Yes, really sorry for the late hour. But we find ourselves in need of lodging for the night, and I would like to view your teleportation circle, if it is at all possible. I've already retrieved the circles from Donnelly and Rockford. I see. Well, lodging you would probably be best to get at the Slithering Sylph. It's the local tavern. Okay, so not here. Got it. But, uh, you said the teleportation circle? Yes. May I see your guilt card? Of course. I'll hand Take it over. Look at it. So since Impressive. since um we can't get lodging here, should I ask to speak to the guildmaster if possible? While Safi's doing that. Hang on. <laughs> One thing at a time. Uh, um. Yes, that can be arranged. Uh, Hi, Amber. Uh, this way. And he leads you uh, back, not far, uh, to a side room. Uh, and in it is the teleportation circle. Well, I don't have money, so I'm not going anywhere. And, and, and wave the rest of the group off to go and find our uh, the guildmaster. Um, so I can go talk to Guildmaster? Yeah, I just needed to get to the circle first. That's why I was saying, hold on, one thing at a time. 
No, I was asking if that was a good idea. I, that wasn't in character. You, oh, okay. Um, I mean, if if you feel like you're going to need more persuasion, then you may want to wait for me. Otherwise. Well, I can just worm vomit, vomit everything that's going on. <laughs> it just, it's, it's a matter of will the point get across and will the point get across in such a way that we won't have to bribe him to do the thing. Okay, I think we're waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to sit there and memorize the circle. Yeah, I believe that takes, like, what, ten minutes? I'm reading the spell. Either one or ten. Or an hour. One of the three. <laughs> Commit a new sequence to memory after studying for one minute. One minute, okay. Even shorter. I, I thought one minute was for, like, specific wizard, but... One minute is for casting it. Yeah, one minute for casting it. Yeah, one minute okay. for casting, one minute for committing to memory. Okay. So yeah, we don't need to wait that long. Nah, we're good. Okay. Well then, yeah, takes you about a minute. You commit it to your memory and... If you're casting it as a ritual, yes, it would be ten minutes. Okay. But we're not. Okay. <laughs> I'm using a spell slot. Or okay. would be. Um... Anything else I can help you with? Yes, uh, we would like to speak to the guildmaster if they're available. I know it's late. Uh, we have some rather urgent business to share. So roll persuasion. <laughs> Just straight roll. Yeah, straight roll. Not very persuasive. Oh, those are garbage. That was it's a, two. a bit late tonight. Uh, he, he is sleeping at the moment. Uh, you can come back in the morning, though. Could we possibly be within ears reach to hear that question and get denied? Uh, yeah, you're you're there with her. And Lilia's nervous energy have helped with that, which is why. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, role, yeah. um, this 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 is kind of really, really, really big and really, really, really important. And I'm just like heavy breathing and like kind of panicky. Well, and did he look in any particular direction when he denied and said he was sleeping? Um, he kind of looked to the back of it. Uh, uh, Lilia, go ahead and roll a persuasion yourself. I'm yeah, good job with that one. While <laughs> Lilia is distracting him with nervous rambling. Mm hmm. I'm Eight. going to shoot a look at Son and point to that direction and mouth find him and wake him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very like persuasive. Said, he's still sleeping, so come back in the morning. I'm sending the rogue. <laughs> yep, Son would go invisible and do exactly that. Um... Because okay. I feel I feel like she's standing right there in the room, right? Well, this is why we were doing it while they were distracted. But yeah, Song so would have roll made the lead. disadvantage. <laughs> if she's just standing there in the room and goes invisible. Well, she probably would have ducked around a corner or something. Yep, she would attempt to hide first. Okay. If she like steps outside and then goes invisible. That's... Yep. That's different than just going invisible right there in the room with an eyesight. Out of character, would it be horrible if I just drop the fact that there might be a very bad monster spawning soon? To tell this person. You cut out, say again. I said, I'm not inclined to tell this person. You're not? But would you I'd be upset? Go straight to the guild master. Would you be but, upset if uh... I dropped it because I was nervous rambling? If you want to, that's fine. I'm still uh, sending Son to go and wake up the guildmaster, <laughs> regardless. I mean, Son Here you have Son roll an investigation. An investigation? Please. Yep. Okay. Oh, you can absolutely uh, word vomit in an attempt. That's fine. What are the words that oh. I'm looking for? The, the monstro it's the, Well, it's a monstrosity, but what? Un of unfathomable... Unfathom it, it's an aberration. <laughs> So, Son spends some time back there. Are you guys waiting there for her? Or are you going outside? 
Also, is snake person Second female? Uh, the the person you're talking to? Yes. Unclear. Okay, I, I, Lilia's gonna... I will gonna... engage him in conversation while this is happening, then, if Lilia starts to flag it all. Uh, flag as in what? To tire or run out of things to say. Okay. Okay, so you guys are waiting there. I am waiting there, and I am attempting to engage him in conversation about if we wanted to have... Uh, we've never actually been on the other side of things. We're always taking requests. What is the process to submit requests? I'm so curious. Um, well, and he starts going on about it. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I, I was gonna... Okay. You can see in his eyes, like, oh, why are they still talking to me? <laughs> uh... And I feel like just oh, breaking and... into his talk and be like, you don't understand! We need to speak to the guild master! <laughs> Like, hold on, hold on. There are multiple ways to solve this problem if the guild master is busy. But, um, but, but so, they need to know, right, Safi! Okay, 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 okay. Let me get to this other part. <laughs> <laughs> Lily right, is just so, panicked. Son leaves the guild hall, turns invisible, comes back in, uh, sneaks into the back. Pretty good stealth roll, 31. Um, <laughs> but uh, she she spends a few minutes looking, but with a natural one, uh, she is unable to. Find can she pump, can she the guild master's room. spend ten minutes trying to find it? <laughs> she would have to spend enough time to do it. Uh, she would keep looking, and she she did it. Even even a ten, I'd say she she doesn't find it right now. Oh, ten, wow. Within ten minutes. She got a nat one. <laughs> you take ten. Uh, you take a longer time, and you treat it yeah. as ten. Yeah. It, in that this case, I, I'm going to say she doesn't find it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So uh, a after a while, uh, she comes back out, still invisible. Uh, and then the I will slide, drops it and walks back in, and just kind of shakes her head. Okay, and noticing that, uh, I'm I'm probably still trying to engage this guy in conversation about how to submit a request, mm -hmm. and I am fishing for the guildmaster's name in the process of doing this. Okay. Um, Why? So you can sending him? Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it works. Zero hesitation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm waking uh, this guy up. <laughs> so, easy enough to find out the guildmaster's name. It is Achi. A T S H I. Master. Okay. Thank you, Nene. Can I can I just do my word vomit now to the guy or girl or whatever <laughs> if, they are? If you want to do that, sure. Zaffy. Sure. Help their girl. Because I I guess I uh, Lily will just like interrupt mid Zaffy, sort of ending getting the name and be like you don't understand. We need to talk to the guildmaster. There's, there's, there's big bads that are going to be coming. To feign a headache and to... kind of just sit down in a chair and start mumbling to herself while she is casting sending. Okay. Um. So, uh, nay, nay. Big, uh... big bads, aberrations, <laughs> really, really, really bad. Uh, 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 the UNT knock. Noctla that you're talking to. Uh, N-A-K-T-L-A. Um, it's like, no, you don't understand. I was asleep before this, and I'd like to get back to it. I'm so sorry please. we interrupted your sleep, but this is really important. Please. 
I understand you think so. It's not just us that think so, it's the Vistani as well. Okay. Now cast sending you... towards Atsi and has been mumbling under her breath. You can roll another persuasion check, Lilia, with disadvantage. Yeah, because they're annoyed with me, I'm assuming. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so no, I yeah, no. <laughs> Natural towards, one. Yeah, I'm past sending towards Atsu while this is going on, but I'll tell you after. <clears throat> he turns around and walks away. <laughs> he walks back over that's, to where you saw him come from before. That's fine. He's done with you. That's fine. We don't need him. We don't Good need night. Him. All right, so you are casting sending. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna wake this guy up. He's gonna hear my voice in his dreams. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to cast Sending towards Achi, um, and I am going to say, urgent situation eminent outside town, impending threat beholder, please come out. <laughs> Saplin is not mincing words. <laughs> I wonder if I had dropped the word beholder if snake person would have listened. You received no response. Very interesting. You guys are getting Try again. really bad right now. <laughs> I mean, if they're asleep, they they probably wouldn't hear the message, too. Exactly. It doesn't, it doesn't say that. The spell doesn't say that. Uh, the only chance of failure is if they're on a different plane, according to this. Uh, uh, but, I mean, they get the bring, message. It's just, do they respond? Br bringing up uh, Matt Mercer's campaigns, he also usually rules it that if they're asleep, they just okay. are asleep. <laughs> I've seen him do that plenty of times. Oh, well. I, I, I mean, they I get did... the message, but they're asleep. Yeah. They can't exactly respond while they're asleep. Right. It's, I... Do I do I jolt them out of sleep? Is what I'm trying yeah, to I, do. And I I rolled for that. So okay. Well, I'm gonna try again. It, I, it was a bad roll. <laughs> I can do this two more times. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Could you technically also do message? Yeah. Are you within range to do message? We don't know. I mean, you could try it. I think message you need to know the direction. Now message is general direction. Yeah. And it doesn't do well with thick walls. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Okay. And my wording just gets more urgent each time. I'm like, wake <laughs> up. <laughs> Once again, no response. All right. <laughs> this is so I'm funny. rolling for this. I know. <laughs> Rolling real well on a low I imagine track. this this Very person's sad. asleep and is having such a bad nightmare right now <laughs> because the message goes to their they hear the message in their mind and so this person's asleep so now they're suddenly in a nightmare with the beholder and and town is on fire. <laughs> All right. Well, we're not being watched now. Mm -hmm. So it, I'm going to go look where Son was looking earlier. Oh, in the back? Yep. Okay. Son would Son would would probably point up and say don't look where I looked. <laughs> All right, uh roll stealth. Or are you trying to be stealthy or are you just walking back there? Try. Okay, 12. Um I'm wondering if it's a secret okay. place. So you you walk back there. There's a bit of a hall, um, several doors. Uh, I assume you ju are you just like trying the doors? Uh, I don't try to open all the doors. You cut out there. Say again. 
I don't think I would just try opening all the doors just willy-nilly. I'm not trying to make a scene. Well, kind of, but not that kind of scene. Okay. Um. Can I do a thing? Sure. What you got? Um. Would the Wand of Secrets help any to find maybe hidden doors? For sure, yeah. If there's hidden ones. Okay, can I expend a wand of hidden secrets and try to see if there's any hidden doors or something maybe Son wasn't able to find because of that reason? Uh, yeah. Um, so you use the wand of secrets. Uh, no, there are no secret levers or doors that pop out. I'm wondering if the look back was then just a misinformation. Maybe the guildmaster has gone home. I'm curious about the number of doors here, because he didn't go this way, did he? Uh, he mm. did not go that way. He kind of went off to a side room. Yeah. Um, so back that way, there's probably ten rooms. Uh, one of which, one of which looks slightly more decorated than the others. But only slightly. Did Son try that room? I have no idea. Uh, I don't know which one Son it, tried. It's kind of cracked open a little. Son had tried it? Possibly? Possibly. Hmm. I'm going to uh, nudge the door with my staff gently. And I, okay. I will cast past without a trace. Okay. Uh, you nudge it open. Swings open. Looks like an office. Like, probably the Guildmaster's office. But not his bedroom. Yeah, no bed in sight. Okay. Still nothing coming up with paper? the wand? Is there any paper on his table? Um, yeah, there'd probably be a couple pieces of paper. Okay, then I will uh, look for the nearest uh, writing utensil. I'm gonna okay, leave a note. Easy enough? Yeah. You're leaving a note. Okay. I am leaving a note. But that's so mundane. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's the note say? Uh, threat against Vistani camp. I don't know if they'd recognize the name Alenka. Um, I would I'm put and, and possibly establishment. Or and possibly and, Asuhai. And nearby, and nearby surroundings of Asuhai, yeah against Atuhai and the Vestalian encampment. Um, okay. Someone intends to summon a beholder. Be ready. And that is the extent of the note. Okay. They can take it seriously. They cannot. That's fine. However, I don't trust Mr. I don't want to be here. I just want to be asleep. To be coherent enough to pass on the message. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I want to make sure the message is indeed received. <laughs> okay. Um, I almost and... wish you would have charmed the person to tell us where they are. Uh, <sighs> he would remember. Unless I wasted another spell to modify his memory. And I'm kind of tapped out on the high level stuff right now. So. He just doesn't seem to care with about how important it is, though. Yeah. I mean, I could have modified his memory to think that he agreed to wake him up, but... Again, tap down on high-level spells. Does um, it matter if he's pissed off that you cur that you charmed him? If the guild master is then like, oh crap, this is a problem? Uh, give me one second, guys. Kay. Okay. Okay.
Lilia word vomit doesn't help, apparently. Me rolling like garbage doesn't help either. It's okay. <laughs> I am not a charisma character. I am, and I still keep rolling twos. So, you know, the dice do what they want. And today, the dice said no. <laughs> Nilia does not like Snake Person very much right now. Yeah, I am sorry if I keep cutting out more than usual tonight. My voice is kind of going. So... I think it's more your mic, though. Well, I mean, I can feel my throat closing up when I'm trying to talk, and then y'all tell me I've cut off, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I don't know what part of me that was that cut off. You know? It may not have been the mic. True. Okay. I'm back. Sorry about that. All good. So, without well, I... instructions on where to find lodging, I guess we're wandering. Uh, you guys. He told us the, the place, but. Yeah, you guys found it before too. Yeah. You just walked um, past it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I will leave the note on the table. Make it very obvious. Okay. And I will leave. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, so Sun would say, yeah, when I looked, I didn't find any bedrooms back there. Oh. I, I wonder see, if I'm we could... Something with my mic. I wonder if we could ask the guy who owns the tavern or lady if they know if the guild master stays at the guild hall or if they have a separate house you could ask right, I so wish I could burning shadow so you make your way to the guild hall then yeah or not the guild hall, but the, yeah, the tavern. tavern. I killed my uh, noise cancellation so. entirely in Discord. Let me know if that's better. Okay. okay. <laughs> Do you have but... a fan on? <laughs> Who? I don't in particular, but my my uh, desktop fan may kick on after a bit. Okay. No, so it wouldn't be that. I know sometimes Discord has issues with fans. That's all. All good. Need user, there's only one problem with that theory. That the, the person said Guildmaster was sleeping. Though he could be lying. He said he'd gone home. He may not have stayed right. home, but No, right, he so said Guildmaster find, was sleeping. Get back to the tavern pretty easily. Um, the, uh, as you walk in, there's a little bell that the door hits uh the ding -ling -ling. uh and pretty soon after uh another UNT slithers up to the bar can I help you we require lodgings for the night uh yes how how many rooms Usually, How many do we usually do? Two, three? I think it's usually, th usually do three. three. Yeah. Okay, three rooms? Yes, that'll be... Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, three rooms. It'll be about a gold. For all three. For the night. Done. Alright, I have removed that from that is one gold total. Yep. It's a last developed account. Yep. And this might be a long All shot right. question, but do you happen to know where the guild master might be at this time of day? Well, no, no, sleep. he's sleeping. He's sleeping because the spell failed. <laughs> We we know this. He just says, "I assume asleep." 
I was trying to fish for like house guild hall. They're not gonna give us that. <laughs> Well, he could have said at home sleeping. So, uh, you you kind of look like you want a little more, and he's like, at his house. Great. Um, mm. I've I've heard some legends in this area. Is it true that there was a dormant beholder here? Uh. Uh, I think a long time ago. Uh, not any recent legends. Oh. What? I said that's fascinating. Have you ever seen a beholder? Maybe in a book. I know. I know these legends kind of get distorted over time, but. Have you heard any about, like, where it was located? Uh, not really. Uh, They're probably people who have seen a beholder are dead. That so... makes it such a fascinating legend that I'm always looking to add to my repertoire of songs. It'd be a fascinating because thing to write a song about. Though, there's <laughs> not very many witnesses to see where it goes. I see. That's what I'm getting you to use her. <laughs> Probably, but yes. <laughs> um. Um, I'm ser terribly sorry to keep you up. Before we turn in for the night, um, would you be able to tell us for in the morning, uh, we have some shopping requirements. Um, do you know if there is a good blacksmith or armorer in town? Uh, yes, there is a blacksmith armorer. Uh. Uh, Zeklosh, uh, he's, he gives you directions. How do you but spell his name? Uh, Z-E-K-L-O-S-H. And then, is there a place where we might procure magical items or spell components? Uh... E2's got a place, yeah, uh, right next to Zikolosh's. Okay. Not a lot of stuff there, but might find a couple things. He'll, uh, slide him another gold for his trouble. Make up for the fact that we're keeping this guy up late at night. He Intentionally over tipping. Hand. And into yeah. his pocket. Yep. Appreciate your patronage. Thank you for your time. Sorry for the random time. questions. Start making our way up. Okay. Anything else you guys want are wanting to do before uh, getting to sleep? I need to change my spells, so what kind of things should I be picking up? The big one was uh, right. scrying. Yes. And then anything you have that would help with fear effects sounds like it'll be useful. D again, um, remember I don't remember things for specifically what they do, so you're gonna have to give me examples. Goodness, I don't, I don't have the cleric spell list memorized. Bless. I don't have to do that yet. <laughs> Bless is a good one. Freedom of movement, uh, I don't think I need. If there's nothing else you guys are needing to do before sleeping, yeah, then we can go ahead, go ahead and do our long rest. And take your up. long rest and level up to level 10. Yay! Okay, I need uh, to figure out some spells first, though. Um, well, 
you can figure that out after you have your level 10 spells, because there might be more spells you want from that. I don't get extra. I just get an extra spell slot, so it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah. Um... Up so I can take Aura of Purity and Destructive Wave. Because Aura of Purity will also help us with fear. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you do get another cantrip, no? Yes, Banana. I do. Um... We were saying Guidance fully. Or resistance for the cantrip. Guidance would be better. Okay. Protection from good and evil. Uh, that one. I don't think that does much in this case. All the fun stuff. Would a sanctuary still be helpful? Cast it on yourself and force them to pick another target if they fail the wisdom save. Say again. I was asking of sanctuary. Yeah. Yeah, Lily, say again. I was saying that yes, Sanctuary is still useful because you can cast it on yourself and then if they fail the wisdom save trying to attack you they have to pick someone else. <laughs> yeah, it can so. protect it has the, a good possibility of protecting you. Alan and Son are done. Hopefully you guys look at these ahead of time. I did. I did. I am, yeah, I'm just I'm making set. sure that I'm not swapping anything on my normal list. Because I can okay. do that when I level up. Thank you for leveling up, Son. She was very easy to level up. Yep, martial classes tend to be. Mm -hmm. I think she got ability score improvement. Uh huh. Dispel good and evil, I'm guessing, would not be helpful, would it? Dispel good and evil? What's that one do? Uh, Here's the question. Can anyone learn Counterspell? I don't think it's on my list. Basically... Uh, I don't it's on my list. I don't think it's not on mine, no. Energy um, protects you from fey, from fey, undead, and creatures originating from beyond the material plane... For the duration, Celestial Elementals, Fae, Fiends, and Undead have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. It also might be a higher level spell than we have. Possibly. Yep, counter spells not anything that anyone in our party can know. Mm, okay, so I would need to take it as my level up spell if I wanted it. Yeah, it's Sorcerer, Warlock, Wizard. It's not even a Bard option. No, but Magical Secrets, I pick from uh, any spell list, I get two uh, spells. Nay, nay, I'd, I'd say that would not be useful. Okay. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I, I think my options that I have are better suited than counter spells. So. My other thing I think that I was thinking of was Holy Weapon, right? I believe so. Um, my next question, it is 9 o'clock. Do you guys want to keep going? 
in hopes of finishing, or...? With the new revelation, preparing some tactics overnight might be beneficial to us yeah. as characters. Yeah, I think uh, we stop here and we plan over the next week. Okay. So that we don't have to do it yep. stream. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, then so we that will... may take a bit. Yeah. We will go ahead and end here for the night. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.